Many in our society today believe that some views must be silenced or canceled for the sake of justice. How do we reverse this dangerous trend? How do we cancel cancel culture? We must understand that to overcome cancel culture, it is going to take both courage and perseverance. The rise of cancel culture has been caused in large part by a growing reliance on two very dangerous and pervasive fallacies. The first fallacy is that speech is violence. And so they're encouraging those who oppose certain speech to use actual physical violence to oppose that speech rather than combating ideas with better ideas. If we as a free people can no longer advocate for change in society through the spoken word, then the only option left to enact such change is through violence. There would be no way to maintain a liberal democratic government. And as the riots throughout our country over the last year have demonstrated, it's not an attractive option. Now the second fallacy driving cancel culture is that justice can be achieved apart from the truth. In fact, some people may even argue that justice can actually be thwarted by the truth. Now historically, virtually everyone in the Western world agreed that the highest purpose or mission of the university was the search for truth. But over the last 20 years, the university's mission has come under a sustained attack. Many administrators, faculty, and students now argue that the purpose of the university is not to understand the world. Rather, the purpose of the university is to change the world through the pursuit of social justice. But to the extent that social justice seeks to ensure equal outcomes for all individuals, regardless of differences or other relevant factors, then it is unjust and thus incompatible with the university's mission to pursue truth because truth is inseparable from justice. If society accepts these fallacies as truth, it will destroy the very foundation upon which our system of government and our fundamental rights was founded. We must understand that it's going to take courage and perseverance to overcome cancel culture. It takes courage to speak the truth when others are calling you a hater, a bigot, a racist, a homophobe, or a Nazi. But I can tell you this, in all the time that I've spent representing people that have decided to take a bold stand, not one of them has ever told me that they regretted taking the stand. They realize that if it's humans, we are denied the right to speak. We are being denied one of the fundamental things that makes us human. The ability to speak and communicate important ideas. Ideas about life, about liberty, about morality, about justice, and about truth. One word of truth shall outweigh the whole world.